So uh, tell us just a little bit more about that because that's something you do talk about in the video is, uh, is the body's ability to heal itself and, and from, a, from a physical point of view, uh, the secret for those people who, who don't have a context for it walks through a number of different things. So we'll get into the content of it in a minute, but it, it does uh, segment itself into a number of different, uh, 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 different focuses, foci. Uh, relationships and, and finances and, and possessions, uh, but uh, health is one of those segments, and and that's where you're you're featured more so in talking about health, and and, and your background then comes to bear as you talk about stress and uh, the body's ability to heal itself. Um, tell us just a little bit more about that, if there's uh, if there's something that you would you'd want to leave with us on on that before we move on to all things secret. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well. Well, of course, in the secret is ask, receive, and believe. So yeah, you want yeah. to ask for good health, yeah. and then you want to put out that out there and be thinking that. We, yeah. we have up to over a thousand words a minute of self-talk. Yeah. Oh, what are, you, what are you doing this? Oh, you know, why did you, you know, mm. what's going on? You know, why did you, you, you idiot, you know, yeah. we're, we're talking to ourselves all the time. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. that self-talk really does mm. have an effect. Mm. And, uh, you know, the, it's, being in the positive is a very healthy thing. Yeah. You know, that's, that's a scriptural thing. Right. Uh, it, it is, you know. Yeah. Seek first the kingdom of God, you know, whatsoever man sows. So what kind of seed are we sowing in our thoughts all day long? Yeah. You dummy, you idiot, why did yeah. you do this? You'll never yeah. make it. Yeah. Or are we sowing good thoughts? So, yeah. uh, so the law of attraction has relevance to us as a Christians. Mm. We've just got to be careful with where we apply it and how we apply it and the limitations. Mm. Uh, that we as Christians should place on that. Right. Uh, so there is a law of attraction. It does function, yeah. um, and, and it is real. We just have to be as, as shrewd and as wise. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, because the, the enemy is trying to, to, the enemy of our souls does desire to get in in any way he can to divert us, to sidetrack yeah. us, and get us off of, of the straight and narrow any way you can. And, yeah. and certainly, um, you'll see New Age come into the church in a huge way and try yeah. to divert us off of the gospel, the simple message of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the blood of the Lamb. Well, now, there you go, starting to sound like a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> so now, that just we haven't talked about your spiritual background and your spiritual context then, so that you're, you're not only a, a doctor who has uh, had a, f a focus on physical well-being, but you care about people's spiritual well-being as well. Um, People is all it's about because we're the only ones with eternal souls. I, I don't know. Animals may be around. It says the new heaven and the yeah. earth, and there'll be the right, lion right. and the lamb. So. Dogs, yes. Cats, no. It's just that simple. <laughs> yeah, I'm with we've you. We've established that. Okay, so, yes. I guess there'll be critters around, but they won't bite or scratch, <laughs> so which, which right. would be a good thing. Yeah. I, I've always wanted to ride a big bull elk down okay. through the woods. Oh. You know, that's, that's one of my dreams. Okay, wait. Where, where, where do you come from that one of your dreams is, I want to ride a big bull elk? I lived in Colorado for okay. 12 years, and uh, and I enjoy hunting and and uh, okay. that sort of thing. But but we won't be hunting uh, them then, you know. No, right, that's right. <laughs> so we'll be enjoying them the way God intended us to. So I just want to grab onto the horns of a big bull elk and ride okay, down through the fun. timber. That's fun. Not too many Toronto boys grow up thinking I want to ride a big bull elk through the maybe, woods. Maybe so. moose. I don't yeah, know. I don't, yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Um, uh, so now, you're, so you've got, uh, you're just spiritually, your faith in Christ seems dynamic. I, I came to the Lord at 15, uh, you know, as many teenagers do, they're really searching and really struggling and what on earth am I doing here and a lot of meaninglessness. Mm. Uh, parents are usually focused. And then if you happen to be not in the in crowd, which mm -hmm. I've, I've always been out of the box. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so I didn't have any friends, and yeah. I came to the point to where I was ready to take my life. And, mm. and I, I had been to church, and I said, okay, God, I, I'm, I'm going to give you a shot. Yeah. Not, not yeah. the kind of yeah. shot yeah. I was right. going okay. to take, but I'm going to give you a chance. Uh, and if you can make this happen, then, then cool. And, and mm. if you can't, then, then I, I'll make it happen. Mm. And he, he did. He came into my life and he changed it. I've walked with the Lord more or less. We all struggle and, yeah. and trip and fall occasionally, yeah. but uh, since I was 15 years old, and that was a long time ago. Wow. Uh, I had the great privilege of working with, uh, I used to live in Colorado Springs, as I mentioned, so I had the great privilege of working with a number of the focus on the family staff, uh -huh. uh, just an incredible organization. Mm. 
and uh, really enjoyed being <clears throat> a side part of that, ministering to them through my medical practice at one point in time. Well, now hearing this side of your life, it may be a surprise to some people to see your face uh, show up on the screen in The Secret. And uh, at least some people from a Christian background uh, would struggle with the, uh, the apparent um, dichotomy between the, the bottom line message of The Secret and the bottom line message of Christianity. And, and it has so caused I, some pain. It has, uh, my daughter was back that. in Colorado Springs recently yeah. and all of her friends were going, uh, Lorena, what's happened to your dad? Uh, <laughs> and all of our Christian she's friends were going, ship. is your dad okay? Yeah. And she's going, no, no, listen real close. He doesn't say anything about the yeah. secret or the law of trade. He just talks about science. And if you just listen closely to what yeah. he says, yeah. uh, everything that he says is true. Yeah. Uh, it's just editors and uh, different things do different things to what we say and put right. them in different places. Okay, so. and that's, that's true. And watching it, you're, you're, the content you contribute it seems bang on. What's, uh, what, is there anything else you want to tell us about just what's been the the reaction, fallout, positive, negative, since your involvement in The Secret. And then we'll get into the actual content of it, but what's it been like for you post-release of the video? Certainly from the Christian community, it's been a struggle because they're all very concerned about me, but sure. the upside of that has been there's been a lot of people praying for me. Okay. Well, that's, good. <laughs> so, that's good. That's good. That's a really good thing. <laughs> okay. uh, the, um, in, the, in the world side, uh, you know, there's been press and people calling for and, and I've had a chance to, to bear witness out mm. there. Uh, uh, Living Natural, I think, out of Mexico, a huge publication just had me on their front cover and I, and mm. I just spoke the truth in love. Mm. This can be dangerous if, if you take it to the nth degree. Mm. Um, this is not the way I live my life yeah. uh, because it, it, there are danger tripwires out there if you follow what is what you hear in the secret. Well, so that's that's probably worth just uh, pausing for a moment and having people, uh, those people who might be listening or watching who are real fans of The Secret, just allow that to settle inside of them for a moment before we get into the details. Here we have someone who's, whose face is uh, part of and partnered with the, the final cut of the message of The Secret that they may have watched and said, this is now the answer to everything. And here we have a voice saying, no, wait, wait, don't make this the answer to everything. Some truth there, but some tripwires, as you say. You know, if you watch The Secret, you come away with, this is the be-all to end-all. Mm. But we know the be-all to end-all. Yeah, yes. His name is Jesus. Yes. Okay? Right on. <laughs> right on. <laughs> uh, the, the other thing that you come away with, with this is ask, receive, and believe in it. It winds up being about stuff. Uh, oh, if you want this car, uh, ask and believe. And it'll, if you want this girl or this guy, mm -hmm. you want this boat, yeah. you want this, ha oh, this business, you want lots of money. Mm -hmm. Well, as a Christian, uh, we, we can't go there. Yeah. Jesus did not want to die mm -hmm. on that piece of wood. Right. He said, Lord, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. But then he said a very, very important thing. Not my will, but yours be done. Mm -hmm. Wealth and power are such destructive forces. Mm -hmm. Very 999 out of 1,000 people, money will destroy. Mm -hmm. Power will destroy because they aren't ready for it. They don't have the depth. They don't have the wisdom. They aren't close enough into God to be able to handle that and it will destroy them. So be careful what you ask for mm. because you can circumvent God. You can by the powers of this world or by the powers of the world, yeah. the enemy of our souls obtain those things mm. or by your own willpower. Yes. Or God has even been known to let people after seeking him constantly and beating him up say, okay, you want to try this child? Yeah, right. I'll be there to pick you up. Hmm. Uh, Some kids just do need to learn the <clears throat> They do. So what we might define as blessing or the universe pouring its blessing into us because we are obtaining all the things we want may actually be us getting something that's unhealthy for us. Can be dangerous not only to us emotionally but to our souls. Mm -hmm. 